Greetings from the great state of Texas. I'm Anna and today I'll be making a wreath. My inspiration are the holidays which are fast approaching. My first wreath example is holiday themed. As you can see it says Merry Christmas. I wrote that with the white gel pen on the cardstock. This particular wreath is made out of cardstock as well and I embellished it with angel sequins. Another option would be a winter wreath. And for this one, I still use the cardstock, but I use scrapbook paper and a winter theme, and I added some sequins, rhinestones, and a bow I just happen to have in some of my crafting materials. Today, we'll make a wreath together. You ready? Let's get started. To make the paper wreath, you'll need these supplies. Colored cardstock, scrapbook paper, two circle shapes, sequin, ribbon, gel pen, rhinestones. Today, I'm going to make a wreath out of the light color and use the black background. I've also got white sequins in two sizes to alternate and a bow for the bottom of my wreath. You'll need two round templates. For mine, I'm going to use a small paper plate and then a lid from something I bought for the middle. Anytime you're using paper with a texture, it's got a nice side versus another side turn it over and make your marks on the back. I'm going to put this in the corner because that way I have a lot more paper to use for other crafts. Just going to make and now I'm going to center that looks about right and make my circle. Now I'm ready to cut it out. Okay for the inner circle I need to make a hole in it. I'm going to use my little scissors to punch through the hole and cut across and then I'll switch back. Since this is uh, textured paper and it's actually cardstock and nice and thick, you can use Elmer's glue for this. So. I'm just going to follow the two circles around and put a line in between those two. I'm going to glue it about in the middle. Okay. Now I'm ready to decorate with sequin. You don't really have to plan it out. I'm probably just going to put some drops of glue down and start placing the sequins on. To get an idea of how I'm going to do it, I want to go ahead and put my bow on so that I don't get any sequins too close to where I want the bow. Okay, now I'm going to just start doing some little glue dots spread around the paper. Now I'll start adding. Okay, now I could keep going. You could fill it all in if you like. All right, here is my final winter wreath to put with my other two. Now I'm going to spread them around the house and they will bring joy in every room. I hope you enjoyed this craft. We'll see you next time.